Series 4 deatomizer. That's what I'm talking about. Noisy crickets. Hey, Kane, no, no, come on, man. You, you get a, a Series 4 deatomizer, I, I get a little, a little midget cricket. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm going to break this damn thing. John here, guys, and today we are talking about three inch quads. Now, today I have for you two very different three inch quads. Now, I've done videos about each of these independently. Um, now, these are actually new builds, um, so they're slightly different versions of the two that I've done in the video. So, if you want to look at the three inch Baby Hawk R or three inch versus five inch on a track that's essentially an older build of this same setup um, and if you want to see my video of the massive droner which is actually featured on the catalyst machine works websites that's pretty much this same build with a few slight exceptions so very very quickly let's go over build list for each of those this really is very close to a three inch baby hawk r now i started building a project very similar to this with this three inch airblade eclair frame before the baby hawk r three inch was announced um, and it took a, a while to assemble all those parts because there just wasn't that many 20 by 20 and 1106 motors out at the time since that quad has come out there's been an explosion of popularity in this size so this is the Emacs Mini Magnum. It is the Foxier Aero Micro Pro, which is pretty much the same camera that comes in the Baby Hawk R. This has the BBB 1106, 6,000 kV motors. These are very comparable to the Emacs versions of these. I just kind of wanted a purple look on here, so I used these. I really like the way they look, but as far as performance, very, very similar to the Emacs uh, red bottom versions. And I, I had just used the Emacs a few times, so I wanted to get a good sense on how these fly. Um, so it's just really a, almost down to a preference in color. Performance is very similar. I'm using an XT30 connector. Now this is the MMCX AKK FX3 um, VTX that I did a review on recently, and it has an XM Plus receiver. Now, this is slightly different from my last massive droner um, that I did the review on. Now, I'm still using the three inch version of the massive droner frame um, with the 1507 Brother Hobby Avenger motors. These are awesome, that are 3600 kV. Now, again, on this one, I'm also using the Monster Micro camera, which is my favorite camera in FPV image-wise. Now, I don't use it for racing because the field of view isn't quite there, but for image clarity, it is the cleanest. So I love to throw it on small three-inch fields. It's, to me, I put this very slightly ahead of the, um, the Runcam Micro Eagle. Um, which a lot of people prefer that, but I actually prefer the image on this. I think it's slightly better. Um, now I am using, this is a new stack combo that I'm going to do a review on very um, soon. And I think it could be the best um, 20 by 20 stack out there. So it is the Speedix 20 amp, um, 20 by 20 ESC combined with the Heli Nation Talon F4 flight controller now again i'm using the akk fx3 and an xm plus receiver up on the top xt30 on this as well and uh so what are the main differences uh in these now let's go over quickly why you may want to have one versus the other now the three inch version of the baby hawk r comes in at about 150 bucks and this is once you assemble these components is going to come out to about that same price so one reason you may want to go for the smaller version is just because the price is going to be lesser this comes in at about 150 bucks this once you figure out the parts list is closer to about 250 bucks so there is a significant cost difference now why is that one, I'm using the budget camera on here, which is the same thing that Baby Hawk R does. I'm using a premium camera on here. This is $20 camera. This is a $36 camera. These motors, typically on a good day, you can find them for $10 to $12 each. These motors are about $17 each. The 
flight controller stack on here, the Emacs Mini Magnum, on a good day, you can find it for about $40 if you look for it on sale. Now this 20 by 20 stack is what I'm testing to try to find a more budget friendly 20 by 20 stack. The last three inch drone I used the Emacs Micro, or not the Emacs, sorry, the Hobbywing Micro Nano stack. Um, but that stack is $75 just for the flight controller and ESC. So this combo that I'm testing is 55, but it's still 15 more than that. Um, so if you add the cost of the motors, the cost of the camera, and the cost of this frame, this frame is awesome and it's very, very tough. I do definitely feel that it's going to be stronger than this Airblade Eclair. Look how thin the carbon is on that. Um, so this frame is about $30 and this frame is like, I believe, $45 or $46. So that's where your $100 difference comes in. I'm using the same receiver and the same VTX on both. Um, so that's going to be comfortable. Now the props are both about uh, $253 each. The props are going to be the same on both. Now, what are some other differences that you're going to see on these? Let's talk about the weight very quickly. Now, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the scale, but I'll just read the numbers out um, for you. So let's go ahead and tear this so we can knock it down to zero. The the uh, massive droner is coming in at 137 grams. And this is with strap on both of these. And the Airblade Eclair is coming in at 88 grams. So there is a large difference in weight, about 50 grams. Now, what are some other significant things about the two of these? This 1106 size three inch, and that's how I'm gonna refer to these from now on. I'm just gonna say the 1106 and the 1507. The 1106 version is gonna run on a 3S battery. Now, I find the best 3S battery um, for this size class is the China Hobby Line Mini Star 650 milliamp 3S battery. I love that battery. It's a great size and weight, and it's fairly inexpensive. Um, the batteries that you're gonna to wanna to use for this, to me, the best one for this size is gonna be the Tattoo 850 milliamp 4S pack. Now, what is gonna be the difference in flight time and performance? Well, both of these quads can really suck down the amps if you are pushing the throttle hard. This is going to fly a little bit floatier. It has sort of a similar feel to a five inch, but scaled down if everything was just very, very floaty, like almost like a very light quad, a light five inch quad. Like I'm talking about 220 grams or less. That's kind of how this feels. Still a little bit more floaty than that. Um, but you can throw it around a track. I did that very successfully. This, however, flies very, very fast. This flies more like a heavier quad. It does not have as much um, float. It'll, so if this was comparable to a five inch, I'd say it flies more similarly, now scaled down, of course, to a quad that had larger size motors, like 2405 or 22, 2306, something like that. And that was closer to about 300 grams. So there's not as much float but the punch and the power that you have on this thing is instantaneous. Um, when I was flying this around, I felt like in a straight punch, it may have had more power and more top end speed even than my five inches that I run that use, um, now my five inches use this motor, which is the 2405, 2522 KV Team Edition. So, what does that mean for you? Which one should you pick? Which one should you go with? Well, if you're on a budget and you just want something to kind of fly around the yard with, um, I say save hundred bucks, you know, why not? You're not gonna have quite the speed, quite the punch, um, but you do get some good control. On a windy day, you're definitely not gonna wanna fly this cause it's gonna blow um, to oblivion. One nice thing about this Emacs Mini Magnum stack though is that it comes with a beeper already installed. I do not have a beeper on here. Um, so that's something to be a consideration. If you're gonna be flying this anywhere or, or actually trying to race, now there really isn't any three inch class races. Um, there was a discussion about that on Facebook this past week. Uh, but if there were going to be, I think more people would gravitate towards this. Punching this, 
even on that battery, if you were to try to race it, you I don't think you could get a full two minutes. Maybe a minute and a half uh, if you're really, really s slamming it. And I was just cruising around. It's no problem. So it's a really fun park flyer. Now this on the 850 milliamp pack, I think you could get closer to two minutes. Closer to that two and a half minute mark that you would need for an actual race. So both of them are light enough and maneuverable uh, maneuverable enough that I feel comfortable flying them kind of in and around my house and my neighborhood. But this one is 50 grams heavier. You're also going to have a heavier battery. The batteries that this one uses are going to be, I think they're like $19 versus like a $12 or $13 battery on this one. So three inches are fun, guys. If you don't have one, uh, and you used to have one that was like a 1407 size, try one of the two, these two sizes. They both are miles ahead of, of what the old, you know, 1306 and 1407 motors used to be able to provide. And I also recommend Gym Fan for either one of these sizes. For 1106, the Gym Fan 3035R is the way to go. And for the 1507 size, the gym fan 3052r is the way to go these are by far the best three inch props for either size motor class that i have seen now i do like that this motor takes a full size prop nut so i can just use the same prop nuts that i use in my five inch quads uh, without problem these do require the two little screws but they are they're both fairly tough in fact I find these three inch props of either size to be more durable and kind of stand up to crashes more than my five inch quads do. Now it may be just because these are so much lighter that when you crash, um, they're just not gonna smash into something as hard, but I do like those a lot. So bottom line, you wanna save some money and just have a park flyer go with this. If you really want to go speed, then I would say go and build yourself a massive droner three inch. This is the toughest and the lightest three inch frame that you can fit this size motor on that I have seen out there. And I've tried a lot of these. This is going to be a little bit less durable uh, because it doesn't have the cage and the carbon is thinner. Um, so what do you guys think? What are you guys flying out there? Um, I may include some flight footage at the end of this, but I think if you want to see how either one of these flies, just go and check out my other videos. I'll leave links in the description so that you can get over to that easily since I've already done so much flight footage with both of these. And I don't think that going back to back is going to provide um, a very fair comparison because I don't fly either one of these every day. So whichever one flies closest to me would just get an unfair advantage whoever flew last once i got kind of used to the three inside would get that so go ahead and check those out let me know what you guys think thanks